is up team welcome back to my channel my name is andy and today i'm going to be giving you just kind of like a recovery weekend vlog type thing so for those who don't know i've just been in placement for the last four weeks i just finished last friday so this weekend i'm not gonna put any pressure on myself i'm really just gonna spend time with my friends and kind of just chill out but yeah remember to like and subscribe turn post notifications on send all your love i feel it every day especially when you guys comment with all that positivity it's just amazing Okay guys, so for this section of the video, I kind of just wanted to talk about how placement went. So for those who don't know, I was on a neuro-based rehab ward. Overall, it was really, really good. I learned so much and neuro was one of the ones that I kind of wanted to look out for just because learning about it in university, it was so interesting. So I was very much looking forward to that placement. It was unfortunate that it was four weeks because it's really hard to grow um, and learn and kind of take up as much opportunity as you can in just four weeks and I was talking to my educator as well and she was like usually it should be like six six weeks anyway and so the fact that it's four not only makes it hard on us but it also makes it hard on you to do well because obviously you want to show that growth and to do that in four weeks is really hard so it's really difficult to do well and on top of that she was saying how they only really accept third year students anyway and so me coming in as a second year only having done one placement which was orthopedic trauma i was like that's great one of the main things as a student that i learned kind of in terms of how well you do is basically we have a halfway assessment and a final assessment halfway doesn't count towards anything but it's kind of more of a let's see how you're doing so far and i did really poorly in it not because i was doing bad but more so because me and my educator kind of had a miscommunication of the expectations in a way so what she wanted to see and what i kind of did on my previous placement didn't interlock so i thought i was doing everything that i needed to do but her expectations were kind of different so um i didn't do well on my halfway assessment and i was actually really really down and disappointed but you create like an action plan after that halfway assessment kind of what you need to do to succeed and i want to be transparent with you because not everything's going to be you know perfect so yeah i didn't do well in the halfway assessment um but we made an action plan and i worked really really hard kind of following that and going beyond so by the end of placement it couldn't like she couldn't have asked for more if you get me it was still hard because by the end of four weeks yeah you could be like oh well you could have worked more with the mdt if you had more time but i wanted to be able to have shown as much as i could have in the time frame that I had. And at the end of the day, I did end up finishing with a first, which is freaking amazing. And I always have the goal of finishing with a first. Um, that's just my own goal. And as long as you know you're doing your best work and putting that out, then that's kind of all that matters. I actually got an email saying that there's a possibility I might be getting a placement starting next Monday. I wasn't expecting it. I thought I was gonna be able to get a break um, and go home and get this September off. But I think maybe they're just trying to get as many students on placement just in case there's a second wave. I swear I will be filming a placement video for you guys. It is quite hard to be doing YouTube and doing uni work and placements and stuff all at the same time. So I'm trying to get as many videos as I can out. But for me, I'm quite a perfectionist and I like to be artsy with the editing parts of this. So it does take me time to edit these videos. This is where it'd be awesome to have like that little community part but obviously we're still a small family so we don't quite have that yet but it's something to work towards and then once I can use that I'll be able to kind of let you guys know so yeah okay I'll let the rest of the video continue
Okay guys, so my voice is non-existent. I just woke up, that's why I look like this, so don't judge. <laughs> As you can see, I'm kind of trying out this new lens. This one is the fish eye lens. But the thing I don't understand is this black circle you see. If anyone knows how to get rid of it, please let me know. I have a meeting with the volleyball committee at two. And then after that meeting, I'll go to the gym. Last night was a really good night. And I kid you not, my voice is like this just because of this game, this card game that we played. I think it was called the Mind Game. That was a super, super fun night. And it was so awesome to see everyone again. It's a beautiful day out, the sun is out. I kind of wanted this weekend to be like a chill weekend where I catch up with friends. Now that this placement is finished, I need to like start working on this on our like critical appraisal, one of our assignments. The reason why I'm starting so early is because it is the most confusing thing ever and you'll know when you get there. Nothing much for today, but as you guys know, like especially after placement, I don't want to go ham straight away. I need my recovery weekend. Okay guys, so it's a little bit later now and I think I'm gonna make some porridge. I'm a bit hungry and I haven't had porridge in a while. So yeah, just a standard, you know my normal. Maple syrup, cinnamon, porridge, bananas, all that good stuff. Let's go make that. So I realized we have some crabs left over from the other day. So I'm gonna heat them up and split it so then Nushka will get two and I'll get two. But I'm probably still gonna make porridge because I'm starving. So I'll just make a smaller portion of porridge. Yeah, we'll see. like day to day, week to week, month to month. And at the end it has like a little section for like notes. It's about an hour till the meeting. Um, but I just wanted to kind of like, I don't know, I was lying in bed. I was kind of like, why am I like feeling so, how do I describe it? It's kind of like, I'm, I'm tired, but I'm not. Then I realized, I think I'm just kind of feeling homesick, feel down and really all you can do is kind of talk to your family, write in a journal to talk about like how you're feeling. But yeah, I thought I'd just kind of come here and say like, not every day is gonna be a good day. <laughs> I'm not sad, I'm just homesick. So my energy is a little bit lower and everything, but um, at least I have this meeting later. So I get to kind of like meet up with, with people, I guess. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to sit here and let you guys know. Let me actually, one sec. Cause my camera's so big, so it's like so hard just to keep it upright. Um, but I do kind of want to do a longer, a longer video kind of talking about the struggles. But yeah, as you can see, like I'm in third year. I still kind of go through those ups and downs. Um, I mean, I don't think this is kind of like necessarily one of my bigger down days. It's just like, I definitely have a little glimpse of like feeling homesick, if you get me. I was planning to go home after placement finished and then literally my final day of placement, they emailed kind of inferring that I might be getting another placement starting on the 7th of September. So now I'm kind of like, frick. So feeling a bit down because that means that I probably won't be able to see my family for another month. But at the same time, I gotta be grateful because Nushka hasn't seen her family in like over a year or something because of Corona and she was stuck in Manchester. So I gotta be grateful. I definitely am, but I can't help feeling homesick right now. Just wanted to give you guys like the reality. It's not all happy days all the time. On days like today, like it is important for you to think about your mental health as well. So even just like taking a day off just, just for yourself is fine. All right guys, I love you. And thank you guys again for so much support. It honestly makes my day when I get some of your messages. They are the sweetest things to read. So. I will fix my hair, I swear. I just wanted to show you. I'm wearing the Lululemon top that I got for my birthday and it's such a nice color. That looks cleaner, doesn't it? Let me see these. Also, in case if you guys have been wondering, what I'm watching on my computer on YouTube is um, a play through The Last of Us 2. I watched so many different versions of the first Last of Us and I absolutely loved it and it's been so long. They took a lot of time to kind of release the second one, 
But watching it now, I am totally okay with it because the production, the quality, the like actual story behind it is so, so good. So his first part of The Last of Us was like an eight hour stream. For me, I'm like a person who likes to have something playing in the background while doing something else. So this is kind of a good one of those things, but at the same time, like when it comes to the story parts where he's not actually like shooting people is really, really well done. Like they got really good actors on it. If you're someone who likes to watch playthroughs and gameplays and everything like that, then I definitely recommend looking at Last of Us. I'd be surprised if you haven't heard of it already. Okay, so I'm wearing one of my cycling shirts. I did cycling Abu Dhabi. This actually used to be my mom's, but it was too big for her, so I took it. And my little lemons. I'm gonna head to the meeting now. My stupid laptop, that's Jules, telling me off for not replying. My goodness. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys later. So the gym is like practically empty, but today I'm doing a full body. Um, I'll show you some of the exercises like I did yesterday. I usually warm up on the rower. I think today I'm gonna do the stair master because I haven't done that in a while. So yeah, let's go to the stair master. Okay, I finished my workout. I'm gonna put my hoodie on and everything. I stretched. Um, the gym kind of got busier as the workout went along, so that's why I didn't continue vlogging. But I tried to get as many exercises as I could. Um, and I'm still gonna put it on the screen anyway, so I'm gonna get some bananas from the supermarket and then I'll see you at home. Okay guys, for dinner, we have two bean patties for Anushka because she's high key vegetarian. And then for me, I have cod like fish cakes, which have um, leek and like a potato mix in the center, which is really fun. And then we've got our usual sweet potato, which we'll make into a sweet potato mash. I'm so excited. I had these last week and they were delicious. Okay guys, so the food has come out of the oven and everything. And then we set up like a little movie on the projector like we usually do. All right guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know it was a very kind of chillaxed weekend, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys that I'm not productive all the freaking time. That is not realistic. I need my time off. I need my friend's time and all of that good stuff. So don't feel guilty if you're taking a couple days off. Sometimes you just need that. As I said before, for mental health, for physical health even. And you never know, days off honestly do wonders. I think that's everything, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Remember to like and subscribe and turn those post notifications on. Remember to spread that positivity. Um, the family is slowly growing, slowly but surely. But yeah, that's everything for this video, so I'll see you next week. Bye.